hope you enjoyed the video in bending theory there is something called k factor the k factor is very very important to define the product development length so if you see this diagram this uh, cross section of a bent component while bending as the video explains outside the bent you can see a uh, a tensile force that is uh, pulling in opposite direction away from the center and inside the bend you can see a compressive stress which is the force is getting moving towards the center and this neutral line we don't have any action or stress so we are interested in this neutral axis so to define the overall length of this neutral axis we use something called k factor the k factor is nothing but the ratio between neutral axis offset to the total material thickness generally it varies between 0 and 0.5 it will be always less than 0.5 so the here there is a chart it's a called a k factor chart it's based upon uh, the radius of the bent if the radius of the bent is within 0 to 1 material thickness and for all this materials this will be the k factor and if uh, the radius is between 1 material thickness to 3 times the material thickness this will be the Uh, k factor for all this aluminium medium steel and hardness steel and like that based on the radius and type of bending we have identified different k factors for all the materials for our calculations we generally use 0.43 so you might be wondering why we need this k factor it's only a ratio between uh the gap between neutral axis to the overall material thickness it is here we will allow uh, use this k factor to define the developed length of this all the bent radius so the bent elements is defined as the material you will add to the actual leg length of the part in order to develop a flat pattern that means when this component is unfolded and made it flat what will be the length of the component so here we use k factor in this equation here we will use generally uh, general practices using 0.43 let's look this example the figure here it has different uh, leg length of 10 and 15 and we have a radius of r3 and material thickness is 1.5 we put all these values in the formula and the bent angle is 90 degree so substitute all the values in this formula and you will get bent allowance as 5.726 mm that means when we unfold this particular radius we will be getting the value is 5.726 so this is where we use k factor and now you understand what is the value of k factor this grain direction of uh, the sheet is very very important in bending theory if we want to use uh, it's not possible to do bending on very hard that is uh, rockwell b scale 90 to 100 so for all non bending we will use this type of hard materials next is three quarter hard material whose rockwell b scale is between at 85 to 90 it's possible to bend 60 degree along the grain direction and it's almost impossible to bend perpendicular to the grain direction next is 
वन हाफ हार्ड दैट इज एच आर बी सेवेंटी टू एटी फाइव इन दिस टाइप ऑफ मेटीरियल अलॉन्ग द ग्रेन डायरेक्शन इट्स पॉसिबल टू बेंट नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड इट्स इम्पॉसिबल टू बेंट परपेंडिकुलर टू द ग्रेन डायरेक्शन एंड इन वन क्वार्टर हार्ट हुज एच आर पी इज बिटवीन सिक्सटी एंड सेवेंटी वी कैन ऑलवेज क्रिएट ए हेम हियर बट वी कैनॉट गो बियॉन्ड नाइंटी डिग्री नेक्स्ट इज सॉफ्ट शीट हुज एच आर पी लाइज बिटवीन फिफ्टी एंड सिक्सटी वी कैन क्रिएट हेम्स इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द ग्रेन एंड नेक्स्ट इज डेड सॉफ्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ मेटीरियल इज यूज फॉर डीप ड्रॉइंग In next video, I'll show you how to unfold a bent in Unigraphics. You'll see in next nine. Thank you.